question about the hours thing. Um, as a single parent, there are times <coughs> when I have certain responsibilities with my child, of course. How do you feel about that? Like, for example, our, our boys play ball actually together. And there are times, for some reason, they schedule a ball game at 5.30 in Ilkes. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I work in Bentonville. You know? Yeah. And luckily, my last employer was very, I had the flexibility where I could come in early, work late other days, make my 40 hours, leave early Thursday because I had to get my son picked up and take him to a ball game. How do you feel about approaching that topic or bringing that up in an interview? Because it's kind of... I wouldn't in the interview. I'll tell you when you, you get the job, and, and I'll be honest, if, you, if I hired you and you're working 8 to 5 and you came and said, hey, Kristen, I've got a every Wednesday this semester I've got to take Joe down to Elkins. I need to leave a few minutes early. Well, no problem, Amanda. Why don't you, what, what can you do? Can you work 45 minute, do a 45 minute lunch and leave 15 minutes early? Discuss that after. Okay. And especially you want to have that time where you've already built that rapport. Well, see, I've been told the opposite in some cases because I've been told that in some situations, especially in, in more entry-level positions, that the hours that you're there, they're a lot stricter for. And if you don't set that expectation to begin with, that there, are, that you, you you may need a little flexibility here and there, but I'll work the half hour lunch or whatever, mm -hmm. that it may then become a problem. They're going to be like, no, you said you'd work eight to five, that's what you're working. I would, like, especially a call center environment, I could easily see. They have to have you manned. Um, if it's a, a role, and it's going to depend on the manager, I would bring it up when you get the offer. Okay. Hey, by the way, I really want to accept it, but, you know, I'm just going to be honest. It's going to, is it going to be an issue if I leave 15 minutes early three times a year? Now, see, if it's every day. Yeah. I, and, and see, here, here's the thing. When you get the offer, I agree. Get the offer. And then, and then in Gary, when you're going to come back in to have, you know, now is your turn. We're making you the offer now. You know, what questions do you have for me on your hiring manager? And that would be one of the questions. Hey, you know, my kids play sports. And periodically, not frequently, but periodically, I may need to leave the office at 4.30. Well, and that's good. But, you know, is that going to be a problem in this position? Because I don't want to accept this offer if that's going to be a big problem. Yeah. And the answer may be, hey, you know what? You're a customer service rep, and I need you there working with customers through these hours, and there's no way I could give you that coverage. Or, hey, if periodically there's something, I totally understand. Maybe you can come in and have help. Maybe you can have it. Call me and I'll take it. Like, a lot of times the games are 7.30. But there are some, yeah. you know, there are, there are it's hard to get to. maybe a third of the game, you know, within the whole season where there's some issues. So. And people have probably told you, you know, you need to be up front and honest. That's true. But in an interview, if that mm -hmm. is one thing that's going to set you across from the three other people that are equally as qualified and they didn't bring that concern up. Negative. Mm -hmm. yeah. They might say, well. Because now I'm making a choice between... Joe, who will be here every yes. day. Yeah. Yes. And, and it know, will be every day. I'm saying now that it's every few weeks, it could be, I'm thinking, I can't do that once a week. Mm -hmm. I was advised to never do that and instead have backup plan after backup plan after yeah. backup plan for yeah. my life before, yeah. and that's a separate thing. Like, yeah. just know who you can contact yeah. if you well, need. And I'll be honest, first when you first come in, that is, I mean, the first the six first, months yeah. are, you're still new, you're right. learning. Once your manager realizes, hey, they're going to be here. Yeah, okay, they had a sick child. That's not a big deal. We understand that. But if you're, you build that up and then say, hey, I'm going to sign up so-and-so for swim practice, is that going to be an issue if I have one day a month or once every, I mean, a short amount of periods, okay, and most managers, some managers are not. They're like, nope, sorry, can't, well, can't work with it. 